Yes, thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Abetz. I refer to the Prime Minister's announcement to media outlets this morning that tonight's budget will include a further $450 million for spy agencies, taking the total of the Coalition's anti-terror spending announcements to over $1 billion. My question is, why is only a minuscule proportion of this money—$35.4 million—3.2 per cent going to something that will actually make us safer, that is, community cohesion programs? The Leader of the Government in the Senate, representing the Prime Minister, Senator Abetz. Mr President, I think I can understand why the Greens in the reshuffle moved Senator Wright a little bit further backwards. Because, Mr. President, if there is one duty, if there is one duty of a national government, it is one to protect its borders from external aggression, and then to protect its citizenry from the sort of activities to which the senator referred, and that is terrorism. And I make no apology for this government being absolutely committed to protect its citizens and residents from terrorism and terrorist attacks. And the best way to do that, with great respect, is to ensure that the law enforcement agencies have the capacity to protect us, laws against which the Greens continually vote against. Why? I do not know. In relation to social cohesion, of course everybody wants social cohesion. We all support social cohesion. But what we don't support, Mr President, are those people that deliberately embark on a course to ensure, in effect, the downfall of our society. And that is what some of these people unfortunately are dedicated to. And Senator Cameron's laughing. Well, the death cult of Daesh, the death cult of Daesh. Yeah, and this is a front bencher of Mr Shorten's. This is the Labor Party attitude on such a serious issue. It shows, and Senator Wong interjects and says, we show bipartisanship on this. Then let your front bench show it by their actions. Their actions speak so Court, much louder than their words. Order. Order on my left. Senator Wish Wilson. I understand you were speaking to the clerk, but I, I was on my feet for a while, and, and Senator Betts was not addressing the question. He was addressing the Labor Party, a totally separate issue to the question that was being asked. Yeah, well, thank you. Senator Wish Wilson, uh, I think even the Minister has acknowledged that. Uh, but thank you. Uh, Minister, have you concluded your answer? Yes, I have. And the time's run out, yeah. too. Senator Wright, uh, do you have a supplementary question? Yes, Mr. President. I won't stoop to personal comments. I don't need to do that. But I'll ask why is it that? when almost all counter-terror experts are recommending greater investment in de-radicalisation programs, the government is directing almost every national security dollar away from community programs to prevent young people from being radicalised in the first place. Order. Minister. M Mr President, when it comes to personal comments, I would just invite uh, Senator Wright to have a look at the comments of her deputy leader Ludlam in relation to the Prime Minister. So before you seek to take any high moral ground, I suggest you deal with your own deputy leader. Having said that, Mr President, can I say that this government is absolutely committed to seeing every possible element of the government's resources being used in an effective manner to ensure the de-radicalisation or, indeed, preventing the radicalisation. And that, of course, rather than de-radicalising somebody, we would prefer they were never radicalised at all. And so that is where we all in this place have an important responsibility, and part of that important responsibility is to say, without any equivocation, that I Thank you, and Minister. Daesh, the time the frame from the question uh, has expired. Evil. Senator Wright, a final supplementary question? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Can the Minister clarify why the Prime Minister continues to use the term death cult 
even though experts say it is counterproductive, ineffective and does some of the terror group's marketing for them. Is it because Order your government right. is more Order. concerned— Just a moment, Senator Wright. On my right. Order. Order. Senator Wright. Is it because your government is more concerned with polling data than actually making Australians safer? On my right. Sen Senator Brandis, you'll have to withdraw that. Thank you. <coughs> Minister. Mr President, we make no apologies for calling these evil elements a death cult. Because when you line up Christians and behead them on video, when you rape women and say that's okay because they are of a different religion and then kill them, you know what? That is a death cult. And I don't think any Australian would disagree with the use of that terminology. So now all of a sudden, people that engage in this behaviour should no longer be called murderers. They are murderers. We will call them murderers. And we will not rest as a government until such time as our population and the world population is safe from this evil death cult. Yeah, yeah.